everyone. We are starting our day off today in El Ateneo, and there is no better cafe to read in than El Ateneo. It's so quiet, and obviously the scenery is unbelievable. I ordered a cafe con leche with two medialunas. Michael got a submarino with a medialuna jamón y queso, and we're just gonna chill this morning. We're gonna take a nice, slow morning and just enjoy El Ateneo for what it is. Like, this is the view that we have right now. This is a little bit, like, too crazy. So today's book of the day is the Spanish version of Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I'm about 60 pages in and I'm really making good progress. I'm still not entirely sure what the plot is about. I think it's like a mother-daughter relationship or something like that. And I think I'm finally out of my reading slump. If you remember one of my last vlogs, I was trying to finish the other Colleen Hoover book that I was reading for so long. I finally finished that like four months later and I'm really trying to force myself to like come to cafes and make dedicated reading time where I can practice my Spanish and just read and like be off the computer and be off the phone and this has been perfect for me and like reading in a Latineo there's nothing better there really isn't anything better and Michael and I are gonna look around right now to see if maybe I'm gonna try to find another book because I feel like I'm gonna go through this one pretty quickly so we'll see two, three, and four, you're gonna wanna go back and get the original. You don't want this to make like the ugly on your bookshelf. This is probably the worst book I've read from Colleen Hoover. It's just not good and I don't recommend it at all. Michael and I are really going to have like the best day today because we just ate an amazing breakfast. El Ateneo, I can't talk enough about how much I love that place. And now we're going to see the Barbie movie. I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. I have never been like a Barbie girl. Like when I was younger, like I did not play with Barbies. So I don't know why I'm so excited. Probably because the hype is so real it's like the only thing that i'm seeing on my social media right now we're gonna see the barbie movie with subtitles so it's gonna have english audio with spanish subtitles right yeah so to me it wouldn't have mattered if we saw it dubbed or subbed but michael has a big preference where are you but well, michael has a big preference he says it has to be subbed so we're gonna see it subbed and i'm really excited we're gonna go to a new shopping mall the movie starts at 1 30 it's like 12.45 right now. So we have a lot of time to hang out. And I think I'm gonna get popcorn, which I'm really excited about. I have not had movie theater popcorn in ages. So we're gonna have a good day. I say we had a lot of time. It's like, we kind of don't have a lot of time. Guys, we just saw the Barbie movie. It was so good. We're the only people in the theater right now. We waited till the end because I wanted to show you like what the theater looks like. It was so nice. The movie was, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen it, you literally have to go see it. People say like they laughed, they cried, like they felt all the feelings and they were right. Um, it was just so good. It was so fun. It was so good. And the movie theater, it's like so cute. It's so pretty. The seats were really, really comfortable. The popcorn was good. We got this giant bucket right here and um, we literally ate it all. We ate it all. I wouldn't say we, but... <laughs> Michael mostly ate it all. We got M&Ms that we didn't even eat 
and we went to the movie theater in the shopping center and I'll give you like a little rundown of the shopping center we'll go ahead and we'll walk through it because we kind of rushed here so we didn't have enough time to really like go through the shopping center and I really want to because it looks just so pretty but I'm so happy we saw the Barbie movie it was so good it was it was so good we gotta go because people are coming in to clean also no crumbs left behind look they even had two viewings they had two theaters dedicated to the Barbie movie. Uh, we didn't have to go to a cash register to buy the tickets. We just did them automatically through these like, I don't know what you call them, through the screen. just got done walking around the mall. This mall was the biggest mall that we've been to so far. We've been to a few others such as Alto Palermo and the Recoleta Mall, but this one was like the biggest one. It had like four or five floors and it had so many stores that like we honestly like. Like every single store was like something that we could see ourselves buying something from, but we just wandered around. And the coolest part about this one is the fact that there's a soup day connected. So like we didn't even have to walk outside to get on the soup day. We're gonna actually head home now. We've been out for the whole day and we miss our pets, we miss Mac, we miss polka. So we gotta go back and we gotta see them. But I still can't get over the fact about how much I like the Barbie movie. Like I don't think I remember liking a movie that much in like so long. It was so good beginning to end. I'm not gonna spoil it obviously, but like if you haven't seen the Barbie movie, you gotta make your way over there to see it. probably the weirdest story likely the weirdest thing has happened to Michael and I yet last night we were getting ready to go to bed brushing our teeth nothing crazy going on in the house right Max and Polka for once were not being crazy like five minutes later there's like this huge bang clash shatter noise and we were like what the heck is that so we went to the kitchen and I think it may have been a bowl I'm not sure what it was. I still don't know exactly what broke, but on the floor, like something, something glass has shattered. And it was like all over the place. There were big chunks of glass. There were small chunks of glass. And this was at like 9.30 at night. It wasn't even like windy. So I can't even like say the wind blew through the window somehow and knocked over a bowl. I literally don't know how this random thing in my kitchen fell and broke, but Whatever it was, it's it's long gone. And of course, having Max and Polka, our cat and our dog, you gotta make sure like all the glass is cleared up. And sometimes glass is so hard to see because it could be so small, but something like that could just be so detrimental to their paws. It could just be so bad. So that was our story last night about the random glass bowl thing breaking in our kitchen out of nowhere at 9 30 at night also this is something i've been struggling with recently while being like a remote worker because never in my life have i been a full remote worker i never even did like the hybrid scenario where like we would work 
half the time from home and like half the time in the office because I've always been a teacher and I've always needed to be in the classroom. So this part of my life is kind of really weird to navigate because I know I'm spending a lot of the time in the house and it's like my workspace is my kitchen table and I like the kitchen table as my workspace but it's just like I'm still trying to find a good balance between like work and like having my own designated workspace and having like a life space away from that so I know a lot of people on this channel ask me like what am I doing remotely how am I balancing work-life balance how did I get a job how am I getting paid in US dollars where did I find a job so I'm gonna make a whole video about that that's going to be my next video coming up because I know so many people are interested in moving to Buenos Aires and of course the job has to be like the number one thing or at least one of the priorities you have to get figured out before you come so don't worry <laughs> i'm gonna share a full day in my life what i do work wise how i'm balancing my three jobs so if you're into that make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video my review of the barbie movie is that i want a mojo dojo casa house just kidding but it was very good i liked it what's your favorite song i'm just ken Hey, I have, I have my weaknesses, all right? And Slash is one of them. Ryan Gosling's another one of them. Also, The Notebook was the first movie that Michael and I watched together, featuring Ryan Gosling. True. True. It was a full circle moment. This time you didn't fall asleep though. Bruh. Uh-huh. I give it an eight out of 10. 